Hi, Mom. James Elliott here. My pronouns are he slash him. Today, I want to talk a little bit about body dysphoria and specifically chest dysphoria. Um, I ordered a chest binder on Amazon and it came in the mail today and I'm going to be testing it out. Um, what I've been using is uh, an old sports bra. That's pretty much all I've been using because of my my large chest size. Um, it's difficult when you uh, have a large body and a large chest size to think about squishing everything down. And um, so I've heard a lot of people in my support group that I've talked to and discussed this with that you know, it might be easier for some people um, to be able to get over this dysphoria when you get a binder and you can put it on and you can flatten everything out. And then for some of us, it's it's a little bit more difficult um, because there's not really a lot of places where everything can go. Um, I'm going to mention my previous cup size. Um, it was a size G, which is pretty large. Um, and so I ordered a, um, a binder on Amazon. I went to Underworks and I ordered this. Uh, it's an extra large tank that um, goes pretty much full body. It goes from top and you tuck it in and it it covers the whole chest area and goes down. I put it on earlier and it seems like it doesn't want to ride up or anything, which is nice. Um, the only issue that I might have with it being on the autistic spectrum is my sensitivity issues. Um, it's a little scratchy, a little bit... Um, my, my skin, I have a feeling it's going to be touchy for me to keep it on for a long period of time, but I was able to keep it on for a couple hours. Um, it felt nice to be able to walk around and I took the dog for a walk and I felt myself kind of keeping my shoulders back and then walking with my my chest out a little bit. Like my, I felt a little bit more masculine just walking around in it and um, it felt it felt nice. Um, I uh, I will model it for you and show you the difference between what it's like for me in the sports bra compared to um, what it's like in the uh, in the binder, just so you can see the difference and um, let you see the comparison. So that's what my goal is today, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and show you a little bit of a, a difference side by side. All right. So here we have me just in my what I normally wear, which is the sports bra, and you can see it's kind of, you know, there's a lot left to be squished because the sports bra doesn't want to squish me in, and I still feel a little bit too feminine, and my dysphoria is not uh, taken care of when I'm walking around. I'm kind of hunched over and doing this a lot when I'm out in public because I don't want people to see. So I do a lot of walking around like this and not wanting people to notice. And, you know, I don't like having to do that. So now that I've got my, my binder, I'm looking forward to wearing that more when I'm out in public. And this is what I look like with my binder on. You can see when I bend over, there's nothing jiggling. I feel a little bit more secure. I can raise my arms up and turn, jump up and down. I feel more solid. I just feel stronger, more masculine. I feel like I can do more. And maybe go out in the yard and do some yard work, do some shoveling, or do some leaf blowing, or put up some lights, do what I gotta do, take the dog out for a walk, and there's really not a lot going on as far as jiggling goes. It's not completely flat, but 
it it's a lot more solid and uh, a lot flatter than it was before. So, you know, for people like like me who are bigger, bigger chested, and uh, you know, it definitely does the trick. Um, I uh, I've got what you call the uh, the flattened out pancake chest. So when I wasn't wearing a bra, they always kind of came down and did this this pancake thing. So I put a piece of paper towel underneath to make sure that there's no sweat uh, when they squish down with the binder. And that's just the way I'm doing it. So if people wanted the pointers. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sit down and finish talking about this. I guess the, um, the only other things that I would have to say about um, using the binder for someone being so overweight and being so large chested, um, I would say wear it in intervals. Um, maybe don't wear it when you're planning on going to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't wear it in bed, um, or wearing it, I wouldn't suggest wearing it when you're planning on doing a lot of yard work. I mean, I, I made the comment about the yard work just as a joke. Um, because it does kind of cut back a little bit of your circulation, um, and you want to take it easy. Uh, I know that. Um, like I said, I took my dog for a walk, but that's just my pug. I take her around the block. It's not really a um, super hectic task or anything. Um, I definitely feel a little bit more confident today. Uh, not only just because of the fact that I got my binder, but I, I dyed my hair. I went blue. I love it. It's very dark, but it's going to rinse out a little bit with each wash. So I'm liking that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Um, until next time, let's all strive for the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Thank you.